Okay, so the look today is based on a picture someone sent me that was, I think it's some member of the Presley family. I forget, I'll find the name and I'll post the picture on my blog. And um, so the look is just a dark smoky brown eye with a pinky lip and lots of bronzer and highlighter. So, and false lashes. Let me zoom in and let you check out the look. And hopefully the color is right. I'm sorry, but I have the worst time finding the color balance on this camera. So, um, part of the tutorial might be kind of blue, part of it might be kind of orange. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, um, if you like the look, keep watching and I'll show you how to get it. Okay, so apply your eyeshadow base or primer. I use Too Faced Shadow Insurance and let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with a brown color. This one has some sparkle in it. If you have a matte brown, that would be better. This is a uh, Victoria's Secret Loose Control. And I'm going to use a flat shader brush. This is uh, the e.l.f. brush. And I'm just going to work that color into like that because you don't want the sparkle to go everywhere. And tap it off and then just start applying that all over the lid. I'm just kind of patting it on. I don't want to rub it too much. And just build the color to the intensity that you want. Okay, once you have the color intensity, you're going to want to start creating the shape. And I'm going to take it higher up on the inner corner, almost to the brow bone, or the eyebrow. And then spread it outwards into sort of a V-shape on the outer edge and just build up the intensity until I like it. Okay, and the outer edge needs to come almost all the way to the end of your eyebrow like that and then you can just sort of make a straight line and then we'll go back in and blend that out later and I'm going to apply some to the lower lid The whole way across, all the way into the inner tear duct. Okay, once you have the shape you like, you're going to go in with um, a dark, dark, deep black. This is a matte black from Everyday Minerals. And I'm going to use another uh, fluffy shader brush. Uh, I don't remember where this one is from. But I'm just going to press that into the brush really well or you'll get a lot of fallout. And just put that along the lash line and taper upwards with it. Just like that. Because you really want the color to be at the base of the lash. And that's where the smokiest shades need to be. And then bring it up. And you should have something like that. And you're also going to do the same along the bottom lashes. Move that away where you can see. Okay. Then just take a fluffy blender brush like this. This is from Studio Tools. And go all the way around the edges. And soften everything up. When you think it's blended, blend some more. <laughs> and especially in the inner corner. And blend it in. And the color will go almost all the way up to your eyebrow. Remember you hold the brush far back so that the brush does the work. Those bristles are fluffy and they'll blend really nice if you let them. 
Okay? I have this awful feeling the entire tutorial to this point is really blue. Um, <laughs> hopefully that's not the case, but if it is, you'll just have to imagine that most of the tutorial was not blue. So, next thing you want to do is use uh, a black eyeliner to do your waterline, upper and lower. I'm using a Milani Liquify pencil. Make sure you use it sharpened so you don't get any germs or yucky stuff on there. And just put it on the waterline this way. All the way into the inner corner. And then on the upper waterline. This pencil is really good for upper waterline because it's so soft it goes on easy. If you wear contact lenses, it might get on your contacts. If it does, you can just take them out and clean them real quick. That's what I usually do because it always goes on my lenses. Okay, and that's about it for eyeliner. Um, and I'm going to put some false lashes on. From where are they from? Sonia Kashuk false lashes, and uh, I'll come back and show you the rest of the look. Okay, so lashes are on. Let me zoom out now so I can show you the rest. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is take um, a highlighter product. This is Mac Pearl Cream Color Base. It's just a little sample. I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger and put it right in the inner corner of my eye, right at the nose, side of my nose. I don't know if you can see, but... And then I'm going to take some more. And in the picture, she has a ton of highlighter all around her cheek and even up above her eyebrow. So I'm going to put that on with my finger and then I'm going to buff it in with a brush. The brush I'm using is a Sonia Kashuk flat top brush. It came in a wooden bamboo set or something. Put this, buff it in all the way. A little bit down the center of the nose and right on the cupid's bow. And a little bit on the chin. So, you have that. And then I took um, the e.l.f. Cool, cool bronzer, it looks like that, and a fluffy brush, and just swirled it all over, just all up into my hairline, down along my cheekbone, and then just blended it all out. Practically everywhere on my face has bronzer except for this little rectangle right here. <laughs> then, after I did that, I went over that with this right here. This is Hula Hula from Hard Candy. And I did the same thing, just went over it all around. Now for lips, I used the Rimmel East End Snob and this MAC, what was it called? Tinted Lip Conditioner in Petting Pink over top of it. So, that's the look and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.